Welcome everyone to Barbados and to a circuit training workout. Today we'll, we'll do a little funky circuit, circuit with a funk flair, right? How you doing, Jose? Fine. Shelly? I'm okay, Jose. Shelly? <laughs> Jose? All right. Everyone? Everyone? <laughs> nice to have you with us. Just keep a pair of hand, well, hand, hand where? Handheld weights. Keep a pair of handheld weights handy. Okay, we'll start now just tapping out right and left. Just tap right and left. Warming up, here we go. Now stay with Shelly and Jose. I'll show you the next move. It goes three tap. It goes three, two, one, march. Other way, three, two, one, march. Okay, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, march. And again, tap it out. Three, two, one, march. Looks good, and again, pump it. Three, and march. Good, and again, Hoop. and march. We'll alternate aerobic activities like funk aerobics with muscle strength and endurance exercise. Do it again. All right. It's three, two, one, and change. Okay. Stay with Shelly and Jose. It's just a small variation. It goes pump, 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 march. Other way. That funky pump and march. Everybody, here we go. <laughs> Without locking the knee, it goes push, 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 march. And change. Again. One, two, three, march. Looking good. One, two, three, march. Good job. And again. Hold those abs in tight. Stand up nice and tall. Okay, keep following Shelly and Jose. Just pump it to the front now. Three, two, one, march. Other foot, push front. Push, push, push. Everyone together. Literally there. Hope. And march. And again. Tight through those abs. And march. And again, push. Three. Okay, keeping that foot front. I'll show you the next variation. It just crosses. It cross, cross, <laughs> cross, march. Other foot now. In, out, in, march. Everybody, here we go. <laughs> you guys just can't wait, can you? And again, three, two, one, march. And again, pump it out. Three, two, one, march. Again, cross, out, cross, march. Do it again. Oh, three, two, one, march. And change. Three, two, one, march. Let's do one more set each way. Oh. Again. Okay, just march it out. Let's just take it down now. Turn those knees in. Funky march, stay with it. Listen to today's lifestyle tip. Brought to you by Movado, makers of the incomparable Movado Museum Watch. The fitness boom? I don't know. It's estimated that more than 60% of the North American population is sedentary, and there's been little improvement in decades. Remember that even low-intensity activities like walking and gardening, if done regularly and over the long term, can decrease your risk of heart attack. Here we go. March. Now bring those knees back to the front. And four. Three, we're gonna march two and triple step. Here we go. It's one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, good. Hop. Now we're gonna start to travel to the side on the one, two, three. Everybody, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Move it out. Move it out. Good. Now keep going with Jose and Shelly. I'll show you. It goes tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, everyone. Tap, two, one, two, three. Again. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. <laughs> one, two. All right, everyone. Clap, two. Clap, two. Clap, two. <clears throat> Clap, two. Clap with the tap. That's it. One, two. One, two. We got it all together. Woo! Nice and strong. Okay, just march it out. March it. Okay, hold the feet together, press it, four, three, two, take one foot back, just press the heel down, great, a few quick stretches, you guys ready for circuit training, other foot, other foot, here we go, press that heel down, looks good, just relax those shoulders down and back, take the other foot back, lift your heel up, tilt your pelvis, drop yourself down slightly, stretch into the hip flexors, and change, other leg back, Lift that heel up, tilt the pelvis slightly, stretch into the hip flexors, 
Okay, take it on up. Here we go, march. Take it to a step touch. Add your own particular style to it. Keep doing it, we're coming right back. Stay with us. And we're back. <laughs> no more clapping. From the Almond Beach Village, which used to be a sugar plantation. We're in a court courtyard that resembles the courtyards of other sugar plantations. You can see that windmill on the property here. That, that's not a windmill, that was a sugar mill. Because this used to be a sugar plantation, now it's a beautiful hotel, the Almond Beach Village. And that's where we are, in the courtyard, right in front of the restaurant. Mmm, what's for dinner? <laughs> Stepping out here. Stepping out for a little step, little funky circuit. Okay, it's time to pick up those weights. Let's pick them up. Are right, you ready? Keep your chest up, it's time for stationary lunges. So we'll take the right leg front, the left leg back. Yay lunges, Yay. take it all the way down and up. Here we go, down and up, down. You gonna count, Shell? Keep that front knee right above the ankle. Here we go, all the way down. Now, your feet are apart as if you're standing on railroad tracks. You can open those feet a bit wider. Jose, that's good, and that'll help you balance. If you stand with your feet too close together, like as if you were, change legs, other foot front, as if you were standing on a balance beam, it's gonna be a lot harder that's what a lot of people do, and then it's hard to balance. So just open the legs a little bit. Nice long lunge position. That's gonna help you balance. As we work the buttocks, the quadriceps, on the back of the thigh. Here we go, down. Hup. Looking good. Two more. Last time, doing 12 reps. Put those weights down, keep the chest up. All right, let's just march it out here. We're gonna go back to the double tap and the cha-cha. Ready, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Good. Moving on out. Good. Four more. And three. All right, stay with Shelly and Jose. Just a small variation. I'll show you first. It goes pump, pump. One, two, three. Everybody, here we go. One, two. One, two. And again. Go. Go. All right. Keep doing this. I'll show you one more variation. The leg just goes cross and cha-cha. Everybody, here we go. Cross it and cross it and again. In, out, one, two, three. One, two, three. Looking good, all right. Four more, three more, two more. Time to pick up the weights again. Time to pick up those weights again. Keep your chest up, stand up nice and tall. Four and three are ready for some squats. Let's do them sideways and down. <laughs> Good, so we can see how the hips go behind. As if we're sitting down into a chair, take those hips back and stand up tall. Right up and squeeze your seat on top without arching the back. Looking good, right down, stand up. Strengthening, toning the legs. Two best exercises for the legs, squats and lunges. Chest up. Watch that, Shelly. Okay, keep your chest up. Don't lean back too much. All right, march it out. Right, left. Here we go. Great. A little Caribbean flair. Let's do some V steps. Right foot. Four on the right. Then we'll do four on the left, okay? okay. One more. Here we go. To the left. Continue with this pattern, everybody, and listen up. Here's today's nutrition tip. Brought to you by Kraft. Good food and good food ideas. Insoluble fiber consumed with adequate fluids is the safest, most effective way to prevent or to treat constipation. Eat more fiber in the form of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Now we're back. Oh, what was that tip about, Jose? Fiber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the best way to stay regular. Here we go, over here. Oh, the natural way. The natural right? way. Lots of water. And you know what's good about fiber? Take it over here for two, is, by the way, most foods high in fiber are low in fat at the same time. Yep, it's true. They're often called oh. arteries, right? Come on, with us, Jose, over here too. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> That's right, one of each, here we go. go one, and change, oh. and change, oh. and change. Back to two of each, two here. 
over here. <laughs> okay, march it out, right, lab. Ooh. You know what it's time to do? Pick up the weights. Here we go. Let's continue. And we'll do some lateral arm raises. Up for two. And down. For two. Palm to the floor. No higher than shoulder level. Looking good here. Up. Nice and strong with those shoulders. Let me get back here. So I can see everybody at the same time. So you can watch everybody. So I can watch. <laughs> good work. Exhale. And up. Keeping those wrists neutral. Just like Switzerland. Keep the wrist neutral. That means keep them straight. Not too high, Shell. It's up, two, and down. Feel the deltoids working. Woo! How many more? Two more times. Then we're going to go into that alternating V step. You keep moving at home. We want to keep the workout continuous. You're doing a great job, so keep it up. We're coming right back. Is that it? With more. Circuit training. José, comment ça va? Ça va bien, mais il fait chaud. Il, il fait chaud aujourd'hui. It's very, very hot. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go back to two V-steps here. Two. You got it. Two over here, because we're going to put this in a combination with two of them, okay? Two over here and karate chop. Oh. Chop the veggies over here. Got some fiber, broccoli, cauliflower. Chop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chop, chop. Did you know? March it out. Right, left. Did you know that you should cook your veggies in big pieces? Because they retain more of their vitamins and minerals. It's true. You should keep them in big chunks. And then after you've, you know, steamed them or zapped them in the microwave a bit, then you cut them up, you know? Put them in nice little, nice little servings. <laughs> keep that in mind. Okay, let's pick up the... No, push up. Let's go down to the floor, either from your knees or your feet depending on how hot your floor is. Not so bad here. Here we go, take your chest down for two and up. Looking good, okay. Now, notice that hand position, the fingers are pointing forward and hands are wider than shoulder width. And we're exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. If you're just starting out, remember you can keep your hands closer to your knees. That's gonna make it easier. You're gonna lift less weight that way. And if you walk the hands out further, <laughs> then it's going to be more difficult. Like Shelly, so sorry laugh. for having, can't have too much fun because then you can't concentrate. Again, I especially like it when the sweat is hanging off my eyelash. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'm completely blinded. <laughs> Last one, David. Last one. Jose always counts the push-up because it's her favorite exercise. Okay, let's stand up. Here we go. March it out. Okay, let's go back to the double tap cha-cha. Ready? Double tap, double clap. One, two. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll do four more of these. This is four and three. Then we're gonna pump it all together. We're gonna pump it in and out. <laughs> and then we're gonna cha-cha. Here we go. Go, cross, out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good, and again, cross. Now stay here and march. Cross and cha-cha, stay here and march. Cross and cha-cha, stay here and march. Cross and cha-cha, stay here and march. Good, cross and cha-cha, and watch. March, next time you're gonna walk around, okay? Here we go, everybody, walk in a circle. One, two, one, two, three. And again, one, two, one, two, three. Round two, three, four. Hey, we're just milking this move. One, two, one, two, three. And again. Oh. Last time. <clears throat> okay, let's pick up our weights. Keep your chest up, keep close to you. Nice long lunge position. Long, wide lunge position. We're gonna lift the weights up and out to the side. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five. Lift, up, up, and down. And again, lengthen those arms to make it more difficult. Okay, keep following along with us. That's three, you wanna do 12. And here's today's intensity check. Rate your perceived exertion. Brought to you by JBC. Technically perfect, perfectly simple. How do you feel at this point in the workout? 
Ideally, your intensity level should fall between 3 and 7 on the perceived exertion scale. You should be breathing deeply, but not gasping for air. Good job. Keep turning those thumbs up and back. How are we doing here? Are you sure? Let's do one more for good luck. Great. <laughs> you know, I always believe you just do an extra one just in case you counted wrong. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't want to leave Barbados without doing what we came to do. For all of you at home, let's just keep marching. Okay. We're going to go back to the one, two, one, two, three, walk in a circle. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three, walk around this foot. Walk around this foot. Walk around this foot. Walk around. Now let me see a V step right. Four, three, two. Okay, pump it up and cha cha. Right foot. Walk around. Let me see a V step. Left foot. Oh, one more. Pump it up with that left foot. Cha cha. Walk around. Let me see a V step on the right foot. Oh, oh. Pump it up and cha-cha. Over here. Let me see a V-step on the left foot. One, two. One, two. Pump it up and cha-cha. All right. <laughs> Let me see that V-step. One, two. Now just march it out right left. March it out. It's already time to cool it down. I can't believe it. Can't believe it I can't believe it. And a cloud came for the cool down. It's perfect. I don't think I'll cool down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just slow everything down. Nice, easy dance around the apartment. Put your favorite tune on. We're coming right back with some muscle toning and stretching. You're doing a great job. Keep going. And we're back to continue with our workout. And we're going to do some butt talk exercises. Butt talk. Butt talk. And then we're going to do some, some tough abdominals as well. Let's go right down to the floor on the elbows and knees. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll stay right back here and supervise. <laughs> okay, Shelly's gonna start. Uh, you're both gonna start. Jose's gonna do it with her leg bent. Shelly's gonna do it with her leg extended. Here we go, lifting up slowly. It's up, squeeze the seat, and down. Good, take it up. Squeeze the seat tight and down. Now notice Jose's got her knee bent. That's an easier version of the exercise. That's three, you gonna count, Shelly? Okay. Now, it doesn't matter if your toe is pointed or your toe is flexed because we're working from the hip here, so it really doesn't make a difference. And of course, you could add an ankle weight to this exercise to make it more difficult. And you do want to do that gradually over time. You want to increase the amount of weight you're lifting. Looks good. Just lifting up, squeeze the seat tight. And again, it's up, squeeze. Really make a nice tight fist in the rear end. <laughs> Last one, keeping the abdominals lifted as well. Important to maintain that alignment. Let's change other leg. Lift, lift, and down, down. Good, Shelly. Up, up, and down. All right, so keep the abdominals lifted. Stop laughing. And dicky dicky doo. <laughs> okay, keep a slight arch of your lower back. I think I'll go over to Jose. You're losing it over here. <laughs> All right, and really keep the abdominals lifted. Square with the shoulders as well. A lot of people tend to lean into the supporting leg, and they end up being all well, cockeyed and sideways and, and all kinds of stuff like that. Shoulder square, hip square to the floor. Right, head in line. How are we doing for reps here? Three more? Good. Really squeeze the, tape, the seat tight, really tight. And then lengthen down nice and slow to really keep the legs, the muscles working hard. One more. Good, what are we doing next? Abs, okay, on your back. Shelly's gonna keep her heels low and pull the knees to the chest. Jose's gonna take her legs right up. you all set. This is actually a more difficult version of the exercise. Relax your feet. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're gonna lift your hips up slowly for two, one, and down for two. Now, it's not a very big movement. Remember, when you work your lower abdominals, you only want 10 degrees of flexion here. It's tough, isn't it? It's really tough. You're just kind of rolling the pelvis up. And I like to keep your feet flat, actually. And I like to think of putting, making a footprint on the ceiling. That's what I think of, or this blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> footprints on the ceiling. 
I think we'll start a new song. Okay, good. Keep going. Keep those feet right above the hips and down. Good job. Feet right above the hips. How many have we done? Eight. Up. You don't sound very sure, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. The, the, the truth came out. Okay, let's do two more. Really lift with the abdominals. Good. One more time. Okay, just drop your heels down now. Let's do some obliques towards the front. <laughs> towards the back. <laughs> Good. Towards the front. And towards the back. Now, when you do these obliques, again, think of bringing the shoulder towards the opposite hip. So really, you're going to feel the contraction actually on both sides of your waist. <laughs> Are you ticklish? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so think of bringing the shoulder towards the opposite hip rather than elbow to knee. Everyone thinks elbow to knee, crunch, crunch, crunch. And you know what? They end up doing neck twists rather than, yeah, rather than waist twists. You don't have to go up very high, just up and over. You know what else you could do is if you work with a partner, is your partner can help you, assist you get up a little higher. If you want to increase your range of motion just a little bit, if you're a beginner, sometimes you can't get your shoulders very high off the floor and it's discouraging. Um, so you can just get someone to help you out with that. Also, you might find that you feel pain in your neck, and that's very normal for someone who's just starting. And that's because every time you come down, especially if you have your hands in a beginner position, if you had your hands up here towards your knees, your neck muscles contract so your head doesn't hit the floor. So your neck gets tired. So just take a break and then do a few more reps. Let's stretch, okay? Let's take a break, stretch one leg up. Take a break, take a break, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> stretch one leg up. Looks good. I think I'll join you for the stretch. <laughs> good. Just relax your head back. Relax the foot until you feel the stretch in the back of your thigh. Then go ahead and flex your foot. I'll take the stretch into your calf as well. Thanks very much for joining us for today's circuit training workout. Our fun and funky circuits. Please join us again for another, another Reebok Caribbean workout. Until next time, bye-bye, everybody, and take good care of yourself. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Shelly. I'm waving. Other leg. <laughs>